Hello everyone, I am Kinsuk Parasar and today I am here with you to discuss one new initiative. We are going to discuss science and technology from our book and we are going to discuss it chapter by chapter. Okay. Now, you can see this book, it, it is consisting of all the chapters from the general science as well as the science and technology section. Okay. So, in this book, we are going to see that what are the different terms related to science portions. Okay. We will see that what are the different things which are coming in the examination. We will try to analyze what is the pattern of the questions and at the same time we will try to grasp all the knowledge which is there in this book. Okay. Now, if we talk about this book, it has been updated with all the recent updates and all. Okay. This is in line with the pattern of the examination. This has all that content which, which is needed for UPSC as well as other state pieces examination. Before we go into that, let me first tell you that if we are talking about science and technology, then what is the weightage of this subject in the examination? Okay. If we are talking about the UPSC examination, in the UPSC examination, you will find that in the prelim section, okay, if we talk about the prelims area, okay, here you will find that we have got roughly around 15 to 20 questions on an average from science and tech section. Some questions are of course coming from the core concepts of science and tech and then there are also some related current affair portion. Okay. But on an average you will find that 15 to 20 questions are coming from science and tech section. Okay. So this is a great number. Okay. If you have prepared well for science and tech section you can be sure for at least 15 questions in the prelims examination. Similarly if we look at the mains examination section. Now, here also we will find that we have got on an average four questions from the science and tech section. Okay. Roughly around four questions are there each year from the science and tech section. Now, what is the beauty of this? See, even if we talk about the prelim section or the main section, this is one of the major scoring subject. Okay. In the prelims also we will find that the questions are not too much complicated. The questions are relatively easily easy to solve. Okay. Similarly, if we look at the mains section also, you will find that these questions are quite much easier. They are asking simple questions like applications of nanotechnology in the health sector okay. or application of biotechnology for the farmers. Okay. So, like if you talk about any other subject, you will find that sometimes they are asking critically examine, critically discuss and so many other keywords are there. Many a times you know the facts, you know the content and still you have to look at like what, how you can write the answer. But in science tech, it is quite simple. You will find that majority of the questions are quite much straightforward. And if you have, if you have good grasp over the content, if you know what are the things which are required or what is the trend of the UPSC examination, then you can easily write the answer in mains also and solve the question in prelims also. Okay. So this is going to give you some score like Roughly around 50 marks here. Two questions are of 10 marks and then two questions are of 15 marks each. Okay. So 20 and plus 30. So roughly around 50 marks can be assured from this section in the mains examination. And on the prelim side, again, you can see it is going to give you around 30 marks. Okay. And these are easy 30 marks. Okay. So now in this initiative, we are going to discuss the entire section of science one by one. Okay. First of all, we will focus on the general science portion. We will try to find out what is there in the general science section and we will go chapter by chapter. We will start with cell, biomolecules, tissues. You can see the first six chapters are from basic part of bio. Here we will discuss about the diseases also, the systems of human body and related aspects. Then after we will also discuss about the basics of chemistry. We will talk about the atoms, the metals and mining and all these related aspects. And then after we will talk about the simple fundamental physics as well. Okay, Like the different forces of nature which are there, gravitation and all, examples of friction and all. So these are some areas from where you will find that one or two questions can be asked from time to time. So, this is one area which provides you a very sound base and if you look at the state pieces examinations, then it is some, it is one area from where you get a number of questions. Even in UPSC examination, you will find that the 
chapters like diseases or cell portion they have been like getting two or three questions every year okay and then comes your majority portion here science and tech section okay so here you can see that like there is a, a particular chapter on which i will like to uh, get your attention here we have this achievement of indian in science and technology okay so we have a lot of people who have been working in this field of science and technology okay especially even after independence we have got a number of good, great scientists and all okay even prior to independence we have so many remarkable figures okay so we will try to look into what they have contributed to what has been achievement of indians in science and technology section this is one very important area for the mains examination similarly we will try to learn about other related aspects like space tech defense sector of india nuclear technology information technology biotech nanotech and all other related aspects we will also read about semiconductor intellectual property rights and all these things okay now see here one thing in the chapters in in this book you will find that like suppose if we are talking about nanotechnology so we will see the exam oriented things which are required okay like we will see suppose if we are talking about nanotechnology you will find that in the books we are discussing about the application of nanotechnology in the various sectors the application of biotechnology in different sectors how this nuclear technology is useful or what are the applications there okay and if we talk about the space technology we will see starting from simple like how the space is good for our farmers or common people to even the recent portions like the space policy and all okay so in these chapters we are going to see the topics from the prelims perspective also and mains perspective also so by having these lectures by discussing on these uh, different dimensions you can be very much well prepared for your prelims examination as well as the mains examination okay let me just give you a glimpse of the topics that we are going to cover here like if we talk about the general science you can see we will simple see about the cells and all then we will talk about the biomolecules tissues systems of human body we will discuss all the different systems which are there okay if you have read the immune system of body then you can be aware about so many developments which are taking place like you can be aware of the car t cell therapy which we are talking about you can be aware about how vaccination works okay so these topics are going to give you a very sound base on which you can read the current affairs as well so that is one part then we will also talk about the different types of diseases which are there now this is one area diseases is one such area from where upsc has been asking questions regularly okay so we will see the different types of diseases you can see here we have one topic antimicrobial resistance this is one of the major challenges in the present times so we will see what is this antimicrobial resistance what are the challenges due to it and what we have been trying to do in order to get rid of this antimicrobial resistance or to manage it okay then after you can see we will also go about the biological classification of animals sometimes you will find that they are asking questions about this also okay then plants also we will see then we will talk about the basics of atoms molecules and all then after we will also see the basic portions of mechanics sometimes they are asking about classical or quantum mechanics also from time to time moreover if you know about them then you can be aware about the other things also for example if you know something about quantum technology okay or if you know about the quantum physics then you can easily understand what is there in quantum computing or quantum mechanics okay then we will see other related aspects of the general science and then we will move towards the science and technology section okay so we will see that how this science and technology has been evolving in india we will see about the contribution of the ancient times okay this is one of the remarkable thing you know that there are so many uh, well known figures who have been contributing like we can talk about aryabhat okay so we will talk about how the ancient indians have been contributing towards the development of science tech and then we will move to the modern scientific developments also okay so this is one such theme which will give you a exact idea at one single place that how indians have been contributing in this era okay then after we will talk about the concerns which are there the recent concerns which are emerging in science and tech section 
So that is also one section which we are going to see. Then after we will talk about the space technology India, what the steps has been taken, what are the issues, privatization and all. So this is one again, again section which is getting quite much limelight. Especially you know that now this Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan 3. Okay. So this is going to uh, make a landing on the south pole of the moon. So keeping all that thing in mind, then we have Aditya L1 mission which is also planned by ISRO. So we will try to analyze all the different programs. We will try to see what are the issues with the space sector in India. We will talk about privatization, the space policy and all other related aspects. We will also see this is one important area. See, when you look at the previous year question, you will find that many a times they are asking questions like this, that how a space technology is good for the farmers or how a space technology is helping the common people. Okay. So we will try to keep a keep our discussion on the line of it, on the line of the demand of the UPSC. Okay. So that is one part. Then after, we will discuss the defense sector in India, nuclear technology. Okay. You can see in nuclear technology, we will discuss all the different dimensions of it, whether it is the non-proliferation and disarmament and all other related aspects like India's nuclear doctrine, the nuclear technology in simple. So we will see all these topics from prelims as well as mains perspective. Okay. Then after we will talk about the information technology section also. We will talk about biotech also. What is the significance? How it is helpful for different segments? Okay. How the biotechnology is redefining the health sector or agriculture or environmental conservation. Okay. So we will look into all these aspects. We will talk about the recent things like genome sequencing the three parent baby which has been quite much controversial okay so we will look into that also okay then after we will talk about the nanotechnology like i was telling you they have been asking many questions from nanotech sector nanotech biotech and information tech these three sectors they have been quite much important so we will discuss what has been the uses of nanotechnology what are the challenges there what can be the way forward so all these dimensions we are going to cover then after we will also talk about the semiconductor sector. This is one of the emerging sectors. So we are going to talk about that also. And then we will talk about intellectual property rights. What are the IPR rights? What are the different things there like copyrights and all, trademarks and all. So we will discuss all these things. Okay. And then after, we will see the traditional knowledge, the IPR policy and its related aspect. Okay. You will also find that along with the chapters, we are also having some previous year questions, okay, previous year questions, both from the prelims as well as mains, which are there along with the chapters. If suppose there is any such section, if there is, let, let us say, nanotech is there. So in the book, we will also have some previous year questions from the nanotech sector that what questions have been asked from the UPSC, by the UPSC. In the prelims also, we will see what questions have been asked from this nanotech sector. So along with your study, we would also be having that idea that how we can go with this topic, what are the things that we have to keep in mind. See, previous year questions are acting as a compass. They are acting as a compass. You know, there is one thing called this uh, magnetic compass, which tells us about the direction. In simple, in that manner itself, the previous year questions are acting as a compass for your preparation. They will tell you, whether you are going in the right direction of preparation or not. Okay. So keeping that in mind, we have also added previous year questions along with the chapters and in the classes, in the lectures, we will be discussing them. That what previous year questions have been asked from a particular topic and what should be your approach in solving it. Okay. So I welcome you all in the upcoming sessions. We are going to discuss the chapters one by one. Okay. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you.